three types of people in this world. Sheep, wolves, and sheepdogs. Now, some people prefer to believe that evil doesn't exist in the world. And that if ever darkened their doorstep, they wouldn't know how to protect themselves. Those are the sheep. And then you got predators. They use violence to prey on the weak. They're the wolves. And then there are those who've been blessed with the gift of aggression and the overpowering need to protect the flock. These men are the rare breed live to confront the wolf. They are the sheepdog. But we protect our own. Did you finish it? Well, then you know who you are. You know your purpose. Life is hard. God is good. He's told him, Timothy, at the end of chapter 3, follow my example, follow my teaching, and stay tethered to the holy scriptures of God. Don't let anything or anybody cause you to waver from my example, from my teaching, from the holy scripture. He comes into chapter 4, and he tells them, hey, you're going to need to keep your head. Hey, you're going to press on through the hard times. Timothy, I want you to always keep sharing the gospel and I want you to fulfill the calling that God has put on your life. And then Paul shifts gears and he says, here's the reality for me. My plane is leaving soon. Check out the text with me if you're there. Second Timothy chapter four. And I'm gonna jump in in verse six. <clears throat> it says, for I'm already, this is Paul speaking, being poured out like a drink offering, for the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. So last chapter, almost down to the last verses of a hero and a legend of our story who is responsible in many ways for God shaping you and me into the people we become as followers of Jesus. He says, at the end of the day, I fought the good fight, I finished the race, and I kept the faith. Do you know what is consistent in all of those ideas? Hardship. You think it was easy to fight the good fight? You think there were times I wanted to give up on fighting the good fight? Do you think it was easy to finish this race? This wasn't a hundred meter dash. This was a marathon of faithfulness, of following God. And I finished my race. I, I didn't try to run somebody else's race. I finished my race and I kept the faith. There was all kind of pressure, everything you can imagine coming against that gospel, but I kept the faith. In other words, hardship. And if you detail Paul's life, oh my goodness, the hardship that he went through to be able to make these three statements in the last sentences that he's writing that we have recorded from his life. But the reason why Paul, I believe, was able to endure the hardship and fight that fight, to endure the hardship and finish that race, to endure the hardship and keep that faith, it's because he was able to zoom out and see something greater for his life. But Paul was able to zoom. And we see all through his life that he was able to see into eternity. He was able to understand what was on the other side of this journey. He was able to zoom from wherever he was, whether it was Ephesus or Philippi, or he was in Jerusalem or in a prison, he could zoom out all the way out to the end of his journey and understand what was waiting for him at the end of the fight, at the end of the race, at the end of keeping the faith. There is in store for me the crown of righteousness. 